I'm extremely excited to share two amazing highlights from our sale in Hong Kong on October 13th. Made for the Chinese market and of museum quality is this absolutely exceptional snuff box with music and automata magician. And the second object is this lavishly decorated gold enamel necessaire with music, automata and watch. So Chinese market, it really started in around 1700, where French watchmakers uh, and Swiss watches makers from Geneva would make watches for the Orient. So here we have a magician's music automata box. There are five known magician boxes. You can see this incredible painting here rendered on the lid. The box is set with pearls, which is very typical for the Chinese market. We have enamel panels. The box is known as a question and answer box. If I show you in the side, we have a small drawer made of gold. And inside we have six tablets. So I take one of the questions and then I insert it into the drawer here. So if I open up here, once the, the box is activated, the question that I've inserted will be revealed by the magician in this aperture just above the tree. So the second treasure made for the Chinese market is this exceptional necessaire or work box. Now a lady 200 years ago, a lady of any substance could really show her wealth, her place in society by how lavishly decorated and how expensive her travel box would be. Our own personal items, there's some gold scissors, uh, a perfume bottle, a knife, uh, some tweezers. But what's incredible and quite rare in itself is the original gold and enamel key. So at the bottom here, you see we have this uh, beautifully rendered uh, time with regulator above. So if I take my original key, I just wind the clock here. There's a small cylinder uh, uh, escapement underneath. And then on the other side of the box, we open up in a similar fashion. You see we have here, we have the miniaturized automata. This particular necessaire, again made for the Chinese market, is exquisitely made from the finest materials available at the time. Please join us to witness these exceptional works of art, as many as hundreds of other horological masterpieces for sale in Hong Kong on October the 13th.